Stop. Close your eyes. Reach out with your feelings. Do you sense it? <gasps> yes. It's the tech news. Is this a Jedi? That's a Jedi. That's, a, that's what a Jedi does, Dennis. Doesn't know what a Jedi is. In case you didn't see it, which you might have because it was announced 30 minutes after Monday's tech link, Microsoft announced that $400 Surface that was rumored for weeks. The Surface Go is smaller than the rest of the lineup, but sports the same kickstand hinge and general build quality. 399 US will get you 64 gigabytes of storage, four gigabytes of RAM, and an Intel 4415Y processor. While you can upgrade the other specs, all models use that same CPU, which apparently lets the Go fetch nine hours of battery life. And apparently Microsoft worked with Intel to optimize software for the CPU, so it apparently can get the job done despite its relative weakness. But will it pass Go to collect $200? How does Pokemon Go feel about this? Should I stay or should I go? Go, please. Hey. Please go. Those are pretty good. Puns. No. Rumors and leaks are flying around about Intel's rumored Cascade Lake X processors for servers. While Intel's current Skylake-based Xeon Platinum CPUs support 1.5 terabytes of RAM per socket, Cascade Lake X CPUs will reportedly support up to 3.84 terabytes of RAM per socket for a combined 7.68 terabytes of memory. Good God! Yeah, that's, what? Those are big numbers. This feature would probably be present in the highest end part, a 28 core chip, which would also support Optane, which promises to introduce persistent memory rather than volatile DRAM that can't hold information without supplied power. So these chips could lead to some incredibly beastly machines, the likes of which the world has never seen before, and neither will most people because they're for servers. So keep it in your pants. There's a server in my pants. No, and really? Everyone's invited. That's great news. Everyone over to James Pants party. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> and YouTube is updating its mobile app with two interesting new features. The first one rolling out now is an incognito mode, which prevents searches and viewed videos from being logged in your history or informing which videos YouTube suggests for you to watch next. The second one, currently in testing, is meant to combat fake news and wild conspiracy theories. Searching news stories or topics on the YouTube app will yield little cards that link to trusted news articles about that story or Wikipedia entries on, say, the moon landing. It's one of many initiatives being undertaken right now to address the fact that a lot of people are getting sketchy information as a result of humanity's relatively new ability to disseminate whatever information they want to a vast audience. Good ideas are spreading more quickly, but so are bad ones. It's okay, I'm sure Google will save us. It's time for Quick Bits, brought to you today by Memory Express. You know, there are some electronics retailers out there that will take your money and then not really care about your order and then go bankrupt all of a sudden. Not these guys. Memory Express has rigorous customer care with 15 day returns and exchanges so Canadians can feel good about their electronics and about themselves. Plus, with their Uber price beat guarantee, they'll beat any authorized Canadian retailer's price by 10% of the difference, both in store and online. So click the link below for all the details. Quick bits! The FCC is voting this week on whether to get rid of its informal complaint system, which would force consumers who want to say something to file a formal complaint, which costs 225 bucks. I mean, it makes sense. Ajit Pai needs to sustain his giant mug collection. He's only got one in it right now, but he should buy more. Overwatch's custom Mercy skin that it sold to benefit breast cancer research successfully raised over $12.7 million. Nice. If you didn't buy it, you're a bad person, James. Can't believe it. I didn't. Bad guy, bad guy over here. In other Overwatch news, the Overwatch League playoffs will be broadcasted on Disney-owned TV networks ABC, ESPN, and Disney XD, just in time for TV to become obsolete. So that's good news. NVIDIA has brought the NVIDIA Shields version of GeForce Now in line with the PC version, so now you'll be able to play games you already own on Steam or you play on the device, along with games bought on GeForce Now, because having two things with the same name is lame. That rhymes. Do you see that? Okay. Blockchain, decentralized economy, P2P resource sharing. If you like buzzwords, you might like the Finny Phone by Siren Labs, which is apparently ultra secure and could be the world's first blockchain phone, whatever that means, if you aren't afraid of yet another cryptocurrency that is probably a sham. But buzzwords, though, don't forget about those. Oh, but wait, HTC is also working on the world's first blockchain phone, the Exodus, scheduled to launch this fall, and this one is gonna have crypto kitties. So, that's how you know it's good. Do you have a crypto kitty? I got a whole litter. 
A whole litter of crypto kitties. I milk them. <laughs> you milk kitties? That doesn't sound safe. Guys, that's it for TechLinked, it's over. So if you, if you want to subscribe, if you want to like, if you want to dislike, but one thing's for sure, I'm not leaving until someone makes me leave. This is- Bye! Bye! Oh.